If you ain't standing out, you ain't worth looking at. Well, look who it is. Liking what you've done with the place, boss. Gangs certainly seem pleased with their new little kingdoms. I haven't seen people this revved up since last time someone spiked the water fountains. Never formally introduced myself. Name's Shank. And if you and Nuka World's favorite Cyclops are standing here, well, I suppose he expects you might be the one to finally get things back on track. How long did it take him to convince you it was time to move on the Commonwealth? Hey now, no convincing, just a friendly conversation between like-minded individuals. And what makes you think I've been convinced? Well, if you aren't yet, you sure as hell should be. Giving the gang spots to call their own around the park, it bought you some goodwill. But providing them with their own domains, carved from the settlements of the Commonwealth, well, I can't think of a better way to solidify your place around here. Plus, make us all a pretty penny along the way. If that interests you, well, all you've got to do is say the word, and we can let the fun begin. I wanted to ask about your role in this. I'm listening. Which gang do you work for? Don't work for the gangs. Gage brought me in to work for the Overboss. Plan was I'd advise Coulter in his grand scheme to run roughshod over the Commonwealth. And despite Coulter's change of heart, I've kept my ear to the ground, just in case that day ever came. I'm hoping today might finally be it. What is it that you get out of helping me do this? I've been well taken care of up to this point. I ain't greedy, but people with my kind of talents aren't common. All I'm looking for is a continuation of the lifestyle I've become accustomed to, and the same piece of the Commonwealth pie everyone else around here has been itching to take a bite of. So what exactly is it you do? I'll walk you through all the ins and outs of getting us established on the other side of those mountains. Claiming territory, running jobs, keeping folks loyal. Gage and Coulter also tasked me with keeping on top of the goings-on back there. So I'll provide you with guidance on the places we can hit and the places we can't. Kind of makes me your one-stop shop for causing havoc in the Commonwealth. That was all I had? So... Does that mean you're ready to begin? If I'm gonna do this, I don't want to hurt people. <laughs> no fun in that. But look, you're the overboss. You decide you want to sweet talk the poor sods we're gonna be dealing with instead of filling them full of lead? That's up to you. But I can't change the fact that you're gonna have to run some people out of their homes so we can give them to the gangs. No one said being boss was gonna be easy. Now, you just say if this is something you're ready to move on. Okay, let's get started. Music to my ears. Shank ain't kidding. This is gonna be all kinds of fun. So getting us set up in the Commonwealth's gonna require three things. Territory, provisions, and loyalty. First things first, territory. We're gonna need to claim a settlement for our gang to work from. An outpost. And there are two ways to claim new territory. You can head in yourself and <laughs> convince the locals to leave. Or I can get a crew together and you all can put them in the dirt. How you do it is up to you. So, first big decision. You want to talk them off their land? Or you want to wipe them out? I, uh, I think you know what I'd rather do, boss. How does that choice affect our bottom line? Well, settlers will probably rally some bodies if you try and wipe them out. But it's a guaranteed way to claim a spot. If you try to scare them off their land, there's a chance they might just tell you to take a hike. At that point, you might be able to buy them off. But it could end up getting expensive if you don't work them over a bit first. Beyond just that, there are some places out there overrun with trouble. Ghouls, children of Adam and the like. Those places aren't going to be interested in having a chat. 
So you're going to have more options if you go in guns blazing. Let me talk to them. I'll convince them to leave. Works for me. Once you've planted your flag in the place, I'll send a crew in to set up shop. Now, next up, you'll have to pick who you want to hold your outpost once it's established. Of course, every outpost you claim for a gang is going to be something the other gangs don't have. And none of them like the thought of their rivals getting a leg up on them. Worth thinking over as you dole out more territory. So, which gang should I have join you once you've staked your claim? The Operators. Got it. I'm sure they'll appreciate you thinking of them. I bet you they can manage to keep looking bored through the whole thing. That just leaves the target. Now for a new outpost, you'll usually want to target a spot with plenty of populated settlements nearby that might be able to feed our people later on. Taffington Boathouse, Croup Manor, Greentop Nursery, the Slog all had a good number of farms within striking distance last I checked. Though I'll need to go through my notes again. Make sure they're all still good to target. We're not always going to be able to run every job against every settlement. So, you ready to pick the spot for Nuka World's first new homestead? We can't target certain settlements with certain jobs? Unfortunately. Can't talk people off their land if there's no one around to talk to and the like. Most cases, I'll try to let you know why we can't target a place. But the biggest hindrance is if there's already some activity going on there. Though if that is the case, that Pip-Boy of yours might be able to give you some info on whatever might be blocking us hitting that spot. Now, you ready to pick that first settlement? What were those targets you'd recommended before? Croup Manor, Taffington Boathouse, Green Top Nursery, and The Slog. Again, I can't guarantee those will all be available targets till I check my notes. But if they are, they're certainly a good place to start. Now you ready to make your decision? I'm ready. Good. So, where do you want to hit? Yeah, that one will do. So, to get these folks to scram, you got two main options. Buy them out, or scare them off. Either way, the more afraid they are, the simpler or cheaper getting them gone will be. Lizzie Wyeth over with the operator should have some toys that'll make running them off easier. And it's worth keeping in mind, the more populated or fortified a place is, the more prep you're gonna want to do before trying to run them off. Happy hunting, boss. Hey, boss. Just minding my own business. Disciples are a bunch of lunatics. I think you're going to want to get out of here. Hey there. Over, boss. A pleasure. Shank said you might need some tools to... Uh, ease relations with the people of the Commonwealth. Well, you've come to the right place. I've put together a couple of toys that should make getting what you want out of those roofs easier. The only thing we ask in return is that you remember the operators when you're handing out new territory on the other side of the mountains. What exactly have you got? So, first up, something to manipulate a target. It's a homemade distillation brewed to mimic human flight pheromones. Toss one of these grenades at the feet of your target and convincing the wary settler suddenly becomes a much simpler affair. Now, to function effectively, I had to make the formula precise. 
So it's not going to work on people in any of the big towns like Bunker Hill or Diamond City, nor on caravanners. But for your purposes, hitting settlements out in the Commonwealth, it ought to give you a serious edge. So it only works at settlements. Are there any other restrictions I need to know about? Nothing beyond that. I've been trying to get the formulas working better for more varied environments. But for now, the current brew should serve. Stink bombs. Lovely. Just give them a try first, Overboss. I think you'll enjoy the results. Here. Only had enough to make the one locally. But you can take the recipe as well, should you find yourself wanting more. So, the other trick up our sleeve is a little more broad spectrum than the grenades. Gulp down a couple lungfuls, and anyone you speak to will be far more apt to give you what you want. Plus, I've winnowed down the addiction risk to near zero, so no need to fear repeat usage. Here. Ingredients for that one have been tricky to find, but between that and the grenade, you should have no problem getting at least one settlement under your control before you have to brew up your own. And just remember us when you're crushing those poor settlers underfoot, hmm? Want something from the operators? Then you need to start handing over some a lot of enemies around here. You should watch your back. Hey, you. Hey, something I can do for you? Are you the one in charge around here? About as much as anyone, sure. Now, you want to tell me what it is you want? There's a gang of raiders coming for this place. Mine. But if you leave right now, I promise you, we won't have any problems. Y you want th this place? Th listen, not trying to piss you off here, but I... I'm not sure that's going to work. This is home. Look, I'm trying to help you here. You need to go now. Oh, that's... that's how it's gonna... Fine, take it. Place... place is all yours. Hey, boss. If you want to rest for a minute, this would be a good place to do it. Hey. Yeah. I'm thinking this place will do. At least once we get some supplies coming in. You ought to head back, boss. Let him know how it went.
Well, well. Rumor going around is that some big bad raider boss strolled into the Commonwealth and talked a group of settlers right off their land. <laughs> Not too shabby. It's a damn good start. I'll make sure your cut of any caps the outpost pulls in are waiting in your quarters. So, now that we got part one on the books, we can move on to part two, provisions. If you want to hang on to this newfound territory, you're going to need to convince a nearby settlement to start handing over shipments of supplies. I'll make sure those shipments get distributed direct to the outpost. Any caps they provide will be waiting in your trunk up in Fiztop. And the more a settlement produces for itself, the more of each we can get them to cough up. Now, like before, the method's up to you. You can try talking to them yourself, convince them to hand over the goods, or you and a crew can introduce some bullets to some kneecaps. Why stop at kneecaps? There any details I should know about these... methods? Well, these jobs run pretty similar to those for claiming territory. Using force will give you more places you can target. Plus, settlers can't just blow you off. You try scaring them into paying up without laying some groundwork first? It could end up being a costly endeavor. Now, any thoughts on how you want to do this? Let me talk to them. I'll get them to hand over what we need. Sure, sure. So, which crew you want keeping an eye on the place once you get them to bend the knee? The pack. Works for me. Then all that's left is the target. Only wrinkle is that it's got to be near our crew's new outpost. No settlement's just gonna hand over goods if there's no one close by to follow up on threats. And if you ever want to see for yourself which settlements are within range of our outpost, you can check the map in your pit boy. Joint called Nordhagen Beach, I think, is close enough to work. Could be a good target, though I'd need to check my notes, of course. So, where do you want to hit? Huh. Was that... Yep, that place'll do. So, to get these settlers to cough up provisions, they need to know that we aren't a crew to be trifled with. You can try convincing them to pay up, or you could rough them up some. Let them know we mean business. Hey, you. Just some raiders with a radio station. Nothing to be afraid of. Uh, what can I do for you? You ever heard of Nuka World? The theme park with all the raiders? Sure. Why? I'm here to make you an offer. This place will supply me and my friends a Nuka World. Caps, food, whatever you got. In exchange, we won't bother you. Oh, I... I don't know. A lot of hard work goes into this place. Can't just give it to you. <laughs> Listen, you're gonna start working for me now, all right? Just keep the supplies coming and we won't have any problems. I... Fine. If it'll get you off my back. Now, please, get the hell out of here. You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. Sounds like they're gonna tear the place apart if we don't get the hell out of there. Then I guess we'll just have to let them know who they're dealing with. You did good. Now get going. The adults are gonna discuss this. Figure this would happen sooner or later. 
Our outposts caught the attention of some of our new neighbors in the Commonwealth. An outside crew of raiders think we're honing in on their territory. Sounds like they're planning to tear the place up, and our people with it. Suppose this provides us a good opportunity to make an example. You thinking what I'm thinking? Mayhem and destruction is what I'm thinking, for what it's worth. What can you tell me about this gang? Not a whole lot. Our scout said the boss calls himself Sinner. Claims to have a decent-sized crew ready to take what we stole fair and square. Suppose he just needs to learn who his betters are. So, are you and I of the same mind on how that ought to get done? Were you thinking about throwing an ice cream social, too? Uh, wasn't my first idea. No. Look, boss. Raiders of the Commonwealth? All those mutts understand is force. And I'm thinking it's time you and them came to just such an understanding. But you should probably get going. You wouldn't want to keep our new friends waiting. Wouldn't be neighborly. I need to assign someone to this. Hey there. Good. You're here. Got word those punks were spotted not far from here, boss. Old place is on alert. We'll keep an eye out. charge around I'll tear their heart out I want the head of whoever's what you you the nuka world waste pile that thought you could move your gang into sinners territory and live you give me one good reason I shouldn't slice you open and eat your heart right here <laughs> you listen closely this land is ours, so turn around and crawl back under whatever rock you came from. Right. Now. Whoa, whoa, easy. Take it, take it easy, all right? Sure, just, uh, you know what? Keep it. This place was a shithole anyway. Hey. You can keep that pit. We're not interested. Heard some rumbles, this one didn't get you either. Figure I shouldn't be surprised. So, what's next? Well, right to business then. So I suppose your recent success brings us to the next step. Loyalty. Without loyalty, everything that's yours, ain't. And to keep a crew loyal, you need to keep them happy. Now, keeping raiders happy isn't real hard. Just have to make sure they've got their basic necessities. Just like any other settlement. That they've got some things to keep them entertained. And that their food's taken care of. Which, with raiders, well, isn't like dealing with other settlements. Now, if you want me to go into detail on any of that, you just say. What can you tell me about entertainment for the outpost? Well... It's a damn handy way to keep folks distracted if you're lacking in certain basics. Constructing pick-me-up stations or getting one of your crew working on a booze still will certainly help lift your outpost's <laughs> spirits. And if the place has got a Nuka World transmitter powered up, you can construct amplifiers to help as well. Anything else I can answer for you? 
more about providing food for the outpost. So, managing your outpost's food can get a little tricky. No one ever joined a crew to dig in the dirt. So you'll want to make sure you've convinced enough settlements to supply your gang. People at the outpost can farm in a pinch, but they sure as hell won't be happy about it. Now, if you're ever wondering if your outpost has enough food, you should take a look in your Pip-Boy. It ought to have a page that'll show you everything your outpost currently needs, food included. If they're low on grub, it's probably time to get a new settlement supplying you. Or you could always drop some food direct in their workshop if it comes to it. Now, was there something else? I want to know more about managing the outposts. Basic necessities. Day-to-day -day needs. They're pretty straightforward. Just need to make sure you've set up solid defenses. Plenty of beds under cover, and enough clean water to go around. Not much more to it than that. Was there anything else? I think I've got everything I need to know. Sure. If you've ever got more questions, you come find me. Or you can always consult that pit boy on your arm. No better tool to tell you what your outpost may be hurting for. Now, depending on the state of the place when you hit it, this first outpost might already have some of the bare bones set up. All you've got to do is build up what's missing. If you want to run some jobs to convince more settlements to start sending supplies, well, you know how this works. You just come talk to me. And I was thinking, with the outpost coming as far as it has, might be time I set up shop there. Save you a trip any time you want to run a job. You just let me know if that's something that'd interest you. Be good to make some trouble in the Commonwealth again. So, there anything I can do? Answer some questions for me. Shoot. Is there anything our outpost needs at the moment? Yeah. Getting word they could use some more food coming in. If you want to run a job to convince a new settlement to cough up supplies, let me know. Was there anything else? Remind me. What's the best way to keep outposts happy? Well, you want to make sure they've got all the necessities, defenses, Beds, water, and food. Ideally, coming in from a settlement you've convinced to hand over supplies. But you can always drop some direct in their workshop if need be. Beyond that, you could build them some entertainment. A boo still, pick-me-up station. An amplifier if you've got a Nuka World transmitter set up. And if you're wondering what they're lacking, best thing to do is check your pit boy It's got a page with all the information you could need on what your outpost might want. I'm also willing to share whatever I hear. And lastly, don't make them farm. Lose a lot of goodwill from your gangs by making them pick fruit. So, was there something else? That was it. Got it. Something else I could do for you? <laughs> Nothing for now. All right. Boss, seems congrats are due on the outpost. Sounds like it's everything a group of murderous sociopaths could ask for. So, you ready for the final piece of the puzzle? And that is? Bodies. And not the kind the disciples like to leave sitting around. Because what you've made is a foothold. To solidify our place, our outfit's gonna need some real numbers. Two more outposts carved from the Commonwealth ought to do the trick. Get all that together, and, <laughs> well, we'll have a real base of power on our hands. With that kind of clout, we'll be able to start setting up dealers at our outposts, get to selling stuff like real damn towns. We keep expanding from there, we'll even be able to set up spots where the locals can come drop off tribute. But I'm getting ahead of myself. For now, You'll want to start by claiming another two outposts. You just let me know whenever you want to get rolling on those jobs. So, boss, what's the plan? Was hoping you could arrange a job for me. Works for me. What type of job did you want to run?
A new outpost. I want to get one set up. And did you want to talk the settlers off their land yourself? Or should I rally some bodies to help you put them on ice? I'll go have a word with them. Got it. And which crew should I have join you once you've staked your claim? The Disciples. Can do. So, what's the target? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one will do. So, standard runoff job. You can scare the hell out of them, or try to buy them off. Whatever you need to do to get them off their land. Any toys the operators gave you ought to make things easier. Claiming additional outposts within range of the target will also help make convincing them go better. But that's more big picture. Something to consider as you plan out future conquests. Scare them good, boss. Hey, you. Days are hard enough without raiders blaring that damn radio. Uh, yeah? There's something I can do for you? There's a gang of raiders coming for this place. Mine. But if you leave right now, I promise you, we won't have any problems. You want this place? Listen, not trying to piss you off here, but I, I'm not sure that's going to work. This is home. Look, I'm trying to help you here. You need to go. Now. Oh, that's, that's how it's going to be. Fine. Take it. Place is, place is all yours. Hey boss, just one more outpost to claim. You want me to set up that job, you just say. So, what do you need? I'm interested in running a job. Yeah, yeah. What kind of job we talking here? I want to claim another outpost for our gangs. Sure thing, boss. You gonna talk to them yourself? Or should I get a crew to help you put them in the dirt? I'll run them off their land myself. Sounds like a plan. And which crew should I have join you once you've staked your claim? The pack. I'll send word along. Or howl or something. So, where do you want to hit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one ain't gonna work, boss. Don't think there's someone for us to intimidate at that spot. You want to name a different target? Or a different job, maybe? Let's try another target. All right. So, where do you want to hit? Mm-hmm. Yep, that place'll do. So, 
standard runoff job. You can see. Scare the hell. Hey, you. These thugs in their damn radio station getting closer by the day. But what do you want? There's a gang of raiders coming for this place. Mine. But if you leave right now, I promise you, you won't have any problems. You want this place? Listen, not trying to piss you off here, but I I'm not sure that's gonna work. This is home. You stay here another minute and uh, trust me, you're gonna regret it. Christ, no need to do anything rash, all right? Land's yours. Not gonna bother you, all right? <laughs> 